Welcome to your Unit 3 review. This video will cover number 27 through number 36. Let me just focus real quick. On number 27, if your roots have been the same, your index, you could have multiplied 2 times 8, but since they're not, you're going to have to simplify. So before I do all that, I'm actually going to rewrite it in rational exponential form. So this is the same thing as 2 to the 1 third times 8 to the 1 fourth, okay? Now if you look on your paper, your peach paper, you will see that the base of a 2 has a 2 and an 8. So somehow I want to rewrite this 8, right? So this right here is 2 to the 1 third. I'm going to keep it. 2 to what power is 8? 2 to the third power is 8. Then I'm going to bring down my exponent of 1 fourth. Now you can simplify and continue on. Okay. So now you have 2 to the 1 third times 2 to the 3 fourth. And since they are like base, you can add your exponents. Keep your base. And you have 1 divided by 3 plus 3 divided by 4. Just keep them in fraction form. Just like that. Convert it to a fraction. Okay. That comes out the same as 13 over 12. Now you could somehow make this smaller if you want to. But for now, that's such a big number that's not on here. I will leave it like that. But actually, this is the same as the 12th root of 2 to the 13th, okay? 2 to the 13th power is the 12th root of 8192. And if you break it down, this comes out to be 2 to the 12th root of 2. All right. I will take either one. Number 28. Roots are not the same. You can't multiply them. So let's rewrite this in exponential form. This is the same thing as 1 half times 81 to the 1 fifth. Look on your sheet. See which one has 243 and 81. The base of 3 has that. So we're going to rewrite this as 3 to the fifth, bring down your 1 half, times 3 to the fourth, bring down your 1 fifth. Okay? Like base, add your exponent. And this comes out to be a base of 3. Use your calculator to help you. So you got 5 divided by 2 plus 4 divided by 5. Change that to a fraction. That's the same thing as 33 over 10. You can leave your solutions like that. Or, my apologies, you can write it in radical form. But I don't expect you to take it too far because that number will be too big. So you can leave it just like that. Number 29, you are going to simplify. So notice there's a parentheses here. Multiply your exponents. That's the same thing as 2 over 2, which is n to the first, which is n. Okay. Number 30, same thing. k, 3 times 5 is 15 to the third, which is k to the fifth. Can't make it any smaller. Number 31, same thing. K to the 4 to the 4 over 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. That's the same thing as 4 squared. 33. Okay. 81 is also to that power. So 81 to the 5 fourth. A, 12 times 5 is 60 over 4. Well, 60 divided by 4 is a whole number. So I'm going to mark that off and put a 15 in its place. And 81 to the 5 fourth. Just like that. Okay. And that comes out to be 243. So your final answer is 243 A to the 15th. Okay. Number 33. Negative 4 goes to the 16th also. So this is the same thing as 16 to the 1 fourth x of negative 4 to the 4th, y of negative 12 to the 4th. And let's go ahead and simplify what we can. 
This comes out to be negative 1. This comes out to be negative 3. Okay? So now you have 16 to the 1 fourth, which is the same thing as the fourth root of 16. Bring down your x, bring down your y to get rid of your negative exponents. What is the fourth root of 16? So let's take a look. That's the same thing as 2. So your final answer is 2 over x, y to the third. Always try to make it small. Number 34. 27 is also to the 5 over 3 power. x, 5 to the third times 3, x to the 1 half. What is 27 to the 5 thirds? Let's see if you can simplify that. Try it on your calculator first if you have to. That's the same thing as 243. X to the 5 third times 3. X to the 1 half. Notice these two numbers you can multiply together. That gives you 729. Your like basis. Add your exponents. And x comes out to be 13 over 6. Number 35. Take care of what you can first. 3 fifths is only to the x as 1 half is only to the x. So 2 over 10 is the same thing as 1 over 5. Okay. So this is x to the 3 fifth divided by x to the 1 half. Notice. Your base is the same, so what do you do with the exponents? You subtract them, 3 fifths minus 1 half to keep your base, okay? So, what is 3 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 2? Change that to a fraction. That's the same thing as x to the 1 tenth. You can leave your answers like that, or you can write it in radical form. Both will be acceptable answers. 36. That square goes with that negative 5 also. So it's negative 5 square. A to the 2 fifth. B 4 to the third. Okay. You're squaring your negative 5. What's negative 5 times negative 5? 25. A to the 2 fifth. B to the 4 third. Bases are not the same, so you can leave your answer just like that. Good luck on your tests.